Okay, Lucy squad, it is day 20 from May's challenge and this workout is gonna to be toning your booty, your thighs, your abs, your waist. If you're a complete beginner, this is absolutely fine. You don't need any equipment. The only thing you need is a chair and I'm gonna do the workout with you in real time. Remember, it is important if you haven't, I always suggest do a quick warm up, even if it is just marching on the spot for one minute. So the first move that we're gonna go into, we're gonna start by doing a curtsy. So this is how we do this move. You're gonna hold on to the back of a chair and then you're just gonna curtsy away. Now, I, I know I asked you guys if you preferred timer or reps, and I'm gonna do a little bit of both today, but this one, we're gonna go for doing 20 reps. Now with this, where you're working, you're working your bottom, you're working your inner thighs, keep your upper body as straight as you can, keep your tummy tight with this. So if you want to work a little bit harder, just step that foot further back and also further across. That's good, so we're aiming to do 20 reps. It. So if you just count yourself, because I'm terrible at counting and I'm bound to have done either a few more or a few less. So we're just stepping that across. And again, just keep those abs nice and tight. With this move is we are just working lots of different muscle groups on there. Okay, so your second move coming up, we've done these before. These are those circles. So you're just gonna stand with one leg slightly bent, the other one you're gonna point in front, out to the side and then behind. So really with this one, I love this move because it is just so good at really toning through your inner and outer thighs. It's good at lifting the booty. It's also good at working through your abs. Just make sure, as I always say, that supporting leg is slightly bent. So we're doing 10 reps on this leg. It. And just imagine you're taking it out as wide as you can. So you're kind of trying to draw a rainbow on the ground and just really take it out wide to the side and back. That's it. Stretch it out in front. All right. So what we're going to do, let's just turn around now. So we're just going to go for doing the other side. And then with this, again, you can use the chair for balance. So you're supporting these bent toes pointed in front, out to the side and behind. And with this one, we're doing reps. So where this is a really good move is we are doing two planes of motion, well kind of three really, because we're doing what's called sagittal where the leg comes in front and behind, then we're also doing a little bit of a rotational which is known as transverse, and then we're also doing a lateral move, taking the leg out to the side, and that's where we're working so many different muscle groups, so we're not just training the front muscles and the back muscles of the leg. Okay, so your next move, you need to come down onto the floor. Now this one is a hard one, so just see how you get on with it. You're going to now drive your hips up. We're gonna take one knee over towards the opposite side. This one, I'm giving it to you as a timed one. Aim to do 20 seconds. Even if you find you just do 10 seconds, you need to rest, that's fine, because this one is tough. Benefit here, you're working your upper body, you're working your abs, that's good. So we take that knee over, try and keep the hips as lifted as you can. It is tough, I was absolutely struggling so much on those last couple. All right, well done. So your bonus move today, this one, come up onto your forearms, tummy is tight, your legs are extended up, and we're just gonna do crisscross over with the legs. We're doing lots of things here. We're working through your inner and outer thighs, working the bottom, and you're working your abs. You're aiming to do 20 for me. The lower you take the legs to the ground, the harder this is. So this is a challenging move. If you find it too hard, you can come back down so you're lying on your on the floor, not on your forearms, and just have the legs straight up and just do crisscrosses in, instead. That's so hard to say. Okay, well done. That is your first round done. So let's repeat that all now. So we'll go for that first move. So you're gonna come back up to standing, stand behind your chair, you're gonna hold onto your chair, and then you're gonna go for doing 20 of those curtsies. So let's do it with really good form. Okay, so that's a zero rep. So there is a two hiding there. Um, okay, and just step that out and then back. Oh, here it comes. How weird is that? Not quite sure what's happening now. This has already been edited, so there's not much I can do about that. But anyway, let's just keep that going. So we're just stepping that back. Tummy is tight, step that foot out and behind. That's it, well done it nice and controlled shoulders back and just think about where you're working through there that's good and again well done all right so second move coming up we're going to go back to doing those leg circles so again with this we're just going to do 10 on one leg 
keep focusing on where you're working. So supporting legs slightly bent, toes in front, out to the side and then behind. Point your toes in front, out to the side and behind. You're just doing 10 reps. So make sure your hips are still both facing forwards. We don't wanna twist them out to the side. It's just the leg that you're taking out. You're doing that rotation when you take it out to the side, in front and then behind. Again, keep the tummy tight, supporting knee, just make sure, just check down that that is slightly bent. You don't wanna be locking that leg out. All right, well done. Let's just turn around now. So we're just gonna take that to the other side. If you need to, you can always hit the pause button and grab some more so if you need to have a little bit of a rest. All right, let's take that now to the opposite leg. Leg in front, out to the side and behind. Point it in front, out to the side and behind. It, doing really well. So this is actually the last day of week three. So next week is our final week on um, ballet box. Okay, so point it in front, out to the side and behind. That's good. Again, keep those shoulders pulled back, have your chest lifted, think about good posture, keep that body nice and straight. That's it. And just draw that in. Okay, so we're going to come back down onto the floor. We're going to do this one. Remember, this is a tough one. So even if you only do five seconds, you know, every time you do it, you're going to get stronger. So you push the hips up as high as you can. And then you're drawing that knee over. So the benefit here, we're working what's known as your internal and your external obliques. So they are the muscles that crisscross across your waist. And this is what gives you that lovely kind of curvy shape. That's good. And then we're still working through the core. The other benefit of this exercise, you are building upper body strength at the same time. Two and one. All right, well done. So your bonus move. Now it is harder when you are on your forearms. If you find this too hard, just lie on your back. So your head, your back is on the floor. Take your legs straight up and then you can do tiny crisscrosses. That's good. And again with this, even if you just set a challenge, because I've challenged you for 20 seconds, even if you just do 10 seconds, what is important, make sure you keep pulling that belly button down tight to the spine for me. That's it. So we're doing two things. You're toning your inner and outer thighs and we're working the abs at the same time, two and one. And then we're done. Perfect. So let's go for the last round now. So we're going to come back up to standing and we're going to go for doing those curtsies. Okay, so remember with this one, it's really important to keep your upper body really perfectly straight. Okay, so, and again, it says zero reps, just ignore that. And actually, this is a good chance for me to kind of tell you, I do this all on my own. It's just me and my tiny little flat. So, you know, excuse the fact these videos aren't perfect, but as long as I'm encouraging you to get fit, then that's all that matters. Okay, so we're just stepping that foot back. Keep the shoulders pulled back for me. Tummy is tight. That's good. So this one is just a really nice curtsy. The further across and the deeper behind you take that leg, then the harder you're working those muscles. Okay, so next one, let's come back now to doing that leg circle. So we're going to go for pointing those toes in front on that supporting, making sure your supporting leg, sorry, is slightly bent, toes in front, and now extend behind. Point in front, out to the side, and behind, and let's go in front, side, behind. That's good. So you're just doing 10 reps. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Just make sure you're drawing your belly button in tight to your spine and really exaggerate that movement, especially when you take it out to the side. That's what's going to really help to lift and tone through the bottom and really tighten through the top of the inner thighs. And then back. That's good. All right. So let's turn that round. And again, remember, if you want a glass of water, then grab one. Keep yourself nice and hydrated. You can always press pause. All right. So let's go for last 10 reps on here and take that back. And so, as I said, I did really take into, I read, I always read every single comment and I know some of you like the timer, some like the reps, so I'm gonna always try and please every single one of you. There'll be a really real mixture of it as well through your next challenge, which is gonna be in July, which is a boot camp style training for you. Okay, that's good. So toes pointed in front, out to the side and behind, doing really well, that's good just keep that going. All right, so your next move, let's come back down onto the ground. 
So let's go for doing those abs again. And remember, as I said to you, if you can't do 20 seconds, it doesn't matter because this one is really tough. All right, so, but just do as many as you can, even if that's just five seconds. That's good. Take the knee over. Make sure you're trying to keep the hips lifted as high as you can. Just think about this. You are building strength through your bones, through your upper body. You're working through your arms. We're toning through the waist. We're shaping through those abs. And you've got last four. Let's go three. Take it two and one. All right, well done. So this time now, come down onto your forearms. Have your fingertips pointing forwards. Extend those legs straight up. And we're just going to go for doing those like um, scissor kicks, butterfly legs, whatever we want to call them. And let's aim for doing 20 seconds. Okay, that's it. Excellent. Well done. So again, just think where your belly button is. Imagine you're going to pull it down as tight as you can down towards your spine. That just means we're activating your core muscles. So we're protecting your back, but we are strengthening through your abs at the same done time. Okay, well done. That is your workout complete. So guess what? You have a rest day tomorrow. So I will still be posting up a video. It'll just be a kind of quick little update for you. If you've got any questions, then let me know. Well done with your training today. Sorry about awful editing. I've just literally had one million and ten things to do today. Crazy, crazy day. And one more thing, don't forget to stretch. Really important. Do your cool down stretches and I'll see you back on my channel tomorrow.